Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part 13 of my Pop EDM production series in Logic Pro 10. In this video, we're going to mix our verse vocals into the song with EQ, compression, a de reverb, and an ensemble thickening effect, as well as a tape delay effect. After this, we'll be done with the verses for a while, and we can move on to the build-up hook section of the song. If you'd like to work along with me in this series, you can download and purchase the session content via the link in the video description below. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do before we start mixing, uh, just to satisfy my OCD here, is to add some quick little fades here in the second uh, verse, and then I'm going to drag over these and join them together uh, to basically create four individual uh, regions for each of the two verses. So again, I'm only really doing this just to satisfy my own OCD. It doesn't really serve any other audible uh, purpose. Full disclosure, when we tracked the song, there was some very minimal processing on the vocals during recording. We used a Flea 47 mic with the new Neve Shelford channel strip preamp through a manly massive passive EQ with just a touch of brightness added and the LA-2A for compression, but again, just a touch of it. So the vocals aren't fully compressed or fully processed. Let's start by adding the channel EQ to the lead vocals. The first thing I typically do with vocals is I will use a shelf or a band to increase the brightness in the high end, and this pulls out the sibilance and uh, character and diction in her voice. So um, I'm going to go with a band, and I'm going to use kind of a little bit more narrow band. I'm going to pull this up around 13,000. Um, you can go up to about 16,000, but I don't want that much sibilance. I'm also going to pull in just a very slight low pass filter at 18,000 hertz, just to control some of the extreme high end. You got me going like a fire, got me going. Next, I'm going to pull in a high pass filter up to about 140 hertz to cut out any low frequency rumble in the signal. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I'm also going to give her a little bit more body by boosting the frequencies around her fundamental frequency. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. Sometimes I find if I move the band a little bit lower than the lowest frequency, it actually sounds better than right on the lowest frequency. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Yeah, and that's really all we can do to give her a little bit more body is it's just because she's a very bright soprano and she doesn't have a whole lot of depth in her mid-range. I've shown this before and talked about this before, but one thing I really like to do with vocals is add a little 2K bump I learned this from mixing in surround because when you're missing a center speaker, sometimes you lose a bit of definition in the center, which makes you lose a bit of definition in the vocals. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever So with no center speaker in stereo, this helps just to bring out the definition in the vocals just got a touch. Me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. There I was just playing around with the sibilance boost, but ultimately I found that 13,000 hertz is still the best place for her voice. All right, so next we're going to copy these EQ settings over to our other tracks. So I've opened up the mixer, and I'm just holding Option to pull the plugin and duplicate it over to my other vocal tracks. Now we are gonna tweak these a bit, so let me just solo up the verse harmony track and we'll start with that. So for the vocal harmonies, um, one of the things I want to do is sort of get rid of some of the hard consonants and filter them out a bit. So first, let's see what this sounds like as is. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. All those consonants and sibilants doesn't really need to be in there for the backing harmonies. So I'm going to pull the filter down quite a bit to hide a lot of the high end. I'm going to pull out the 2K bump and also reduce the low end bump. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. Now both together. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. Yeah, so we're really just hearing the tone of the harmonies and not the sibilance, although we do want to pull down the sibilance on the lead vocal just a touch. It's a little bit too much. And we're going to pull the overall level down just a touch as well because we're getting pretty close to clipping. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. This is also probably a good time to turn on pre-fader metering to make sure none of our plugins are clipping the signal at any point. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. We also want to reduce the consonants and sibilance in the doubling track, so we'll do something very similar to what we did with the harmony track, except we'll keep in the low frequency bump. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m., I got you higher than she ever could. 
I was just playing with the double level to see if it fit in well. Let's listen to all the vocals now. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m., I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. You got me going, got me burning, got me going good. I promise every night I love you like she never could. All right, next let's add compression. I'm going to go with the opto circuit as I usually do with vocals. I don't want to overdo it though, since these were already slightly compressed once when recording. I'm looking for about 5 dB of reduction or less. Let's start with a ratio of around 4 to 1, a threshold of around negative 20. A soft knee for vocals, so I'll pull it all the way to the right. I'll increase the attack time just a touch, and I'll turn off the auto gain. Let's give this a listen. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. Yeah, we're not getting any compression because the input signal is not hot enough to even touch the threshold. So let's pull up the input gain as well as pull down the threshold a bit and pull up the ratio a bit as well. So we can get a reasonable level of compression. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. Threshold down just a touch heavier. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. All right, so I've copied the compression over to my other vocal tracks. Let's give this a listen with everything in uh, with EQ and compression on all of our vocal tracks. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. You got me going. All right, great. So the vocals all stand out against the mix really well now. Uh, one thing we need is we need a de -er on our lead vocals to get rid of some of the sibilance in those tracks. A de -er is essentially a fast-acting compressor that only acts on the high end to reduce S sounds and sibilant sounds. So I'm going to throw this on the lead vocals and choose the female voice strong de -er. You got me going like a fire, got me... It's 2 a.m., I got you higher than she ever... Yeah, that might be a bit too much, so what I'm going to do is pull down the strength a bit... So we just have a slight de -er effect. All right, so let's duplicate the de -er over to our other lead vocal track, and let's uh, give this a listen and see what the two of these sound like together. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m., I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. Yeah, the bottom track needs significantly less. I'll put that about negative five. And the top track needs significantly more, so I'll put this at negative 12. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m., I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. You got me going, got me burning, got me going good. I promise every night I love you like she never could. So after some fiddling around, I decided that the de -er strength needed to remain at negative 5 for the first three phrases of the bottom track, and then go up to negative 12 for the last phrase. The last phrase just needed significantly more de -ing than the other three. So I used region automation to automate the suppressor strength. This is shown as suppression in the automation parameters. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. You got me going, got me burning, got me going good. I promise every night I love you like she never could. And then I did the same thing in the second verse as well. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. Let's listen to all that together now. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. 
It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. You got me going, got me burning, got me going good. I promise every night I love you like she never could. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all four of my vocal tracks and add a bus uh, send to all of these. And we're going to use this bus to create a thickening ensemble effect. So I'll use bus five since it's available. I'll pull up all the send amounts a bit. I'll scroll over to the right side of the mixer and we'll see our new aux channel with bus five assigned as its input. I'll double click and I will rename this to Vox Thicken because that's essentially what it's going to do. It's just going to thicken up the vocals a bit. I'm going to add the ensemble effect, which is under modulation. Right now, I'll add this as uh, mono to stereo, but we'll change that later. Um, well, as you can see, the input of the track is mono, so I'm just going to click on that to make it stereo, and that changes the uh, plug-in um, format to stereo, so we're good there. So let's just listen to this with just the thickening track soloed so we can get an idea of what the ensemble sounds like. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I brought so I pulled up the voices all the way and the stereo spread all the way. I'm also going to pull up each of the LFO's intensity quite a bit so we hear more of that uh, chorus effect. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. So the phase option way up uh, it really creates a cool ensemble effect, but the problem is that it can cause phase uh, cancellation issues between the left and the right channel. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. So the correlation meter is showing we have some pretty major phase cancellation issues. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. You got me going, got me burning, got me going good. So if we reduce the spread and keep the phase at about plus 10 or plus 20, um, we can prevent uh, it from being completely out of phase. Here I'm actually just testing it out um, if I put the track in mono to see if that helps, but... As you can see, it doesn't really uh, help at all. So I end up going back to stereo anyway and just uh, and keeping it at about 20 percent. Like a fire got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. So if this is the first time you've seen or used a correlation meter, it's used to show phase correlation or cancellation between the left and right channels. So if the level is above the middle zero, you are in phase, and there's just a minor amount of phase cancellation if you converted the track to mono, or no phase cancellation at all in mono if the meter is showing all the way up at one. Below zero is where it gets dangerous because instruments, and in our case, an ensemble effect, can disappear completely in the mix if you're playing the song through a mono system, which some clubs still run in mono. It can also just make the effect diminish when playing through speakers that are close to each other. You're not going to hear any phase cancellation at all on headphones, though, because the two speakers are completely isolated from each other. So on the topic of mono compatibility, you can either say, well, that's a really cool stereo effect and I really want to use it, and I'm okay with it partly being canceled out if anyone ever listens to the song in mono, or you can take the more conservative approach and shoot for zero or higher with synths and effects like this that have stereo phase effects in them. This is common with plugins like this. So it's just something you have to co uh, constantly check and make sure that your tracks are, are, are in phase and have a positive phase correlation in the left and right channels. If you're trying to be safe, that is.
All right, so let's give that all a listen with the thickening ensemble effect in. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m., I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. Cool, that really helps to thicken up the vocals uh, quite a bit, and uh, I actually can put it pretty high in the mix without it sounding too phasey. Next, I'm going to add reverb with Ascend on all four vocal tracks. I'm using Bus 2 for this. This is the same reverb that we created when we were working on the vocals in the intro. And I'm going to pull the Send amount for the reverb up just a touch higher for the top uh, lead vocal track. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m., I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. The last plugin I'm going to add to the lead vocals is the tape delay, just for a bit of a slap back delay effect. I'm going to pull the dry signal all the way up and the wet down just a little bit. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. That's a bit too much. I'm going to pull the delay time down to a 16th note and uh, give that a shot. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I'm also going to filter out the high end and a bit of the low end. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you a... I also pulled down the feedback and wet signal a bit, and I'm also going to pull up the smoothing just a bit. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Yeah, so that makes it a little bit more of a subtle slapback effect. Let's duplicate this over to the other lead track and see what this sounds like. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m. I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. All right, so we're all done. Let's listen to both the first and second verses. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. It's 2 a.m., I got you higher than she ever could. Just let me give you all the secrets to my fantasies. I promise every night that I will have you begging, please. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. You got me going, got me burning, got me going good. I promise every night I love you like she never could. And now the second verse. We keep on rolling like a fire like we always should. There's no one else I'd rather be with but you know I could. It's 3 a.m. I got this feeling I will never leave. Just tell me everything that you could ever want from me. You got me going like a fire, got me going good. I promise every night I'll treat you like she always should. You got me going, got me burning, got me going good. I promise every night I love you like she never could. All right, so I might pull down the delay wet uh, signal just a bit, and I may also pull down the ensemble effect a bit, but I'll save uh, the ensemble effect for later when we're actually focused on just mixing the song. In the next video, we'll move on to the hook buildup section. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.